Hi everybody, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland and well this is our Road Trek CS Adventurous XL. It is a Class B motorhome and uh, we're going to tell you all about it. And what's so interesting about owning this is every time we stop someplace, inevitably somebody will come up and they want to know, can you really live in there? Are there beds in there? Are there bathrooms in there? Wow! How yeah. can people remain friends and live in such a small space? Well, we're going to try and show you that in this video. Um, we're going to first uh, tell you a little bit about the unit itself. As I said, it is a Road Trek CS Adventurous XL. The XL means it's a little longer. And you probably can't really tell that. How, how long is it? I think it's 14, About 14 inches. 14 inches added on the back. But that's really nice is it's extra storage space so we can carry a lot of stuff with that. Um, the uh, specifics on this thing is about well, it's just a shade under 25 feet long. And something that it has that we really like is the roof. Uh, if you notice there's no air conditioner up there, the whole roof is solar panels. Solar panels. 650 watts of solar panel that's always trickle charging into our lithium ion battery bank. That means we're in essence energy independent. And that is nice. And once you get used to that, it's hard to give it up. That means you don't have to plug in unless you want to. And you can go many days without plugging in. Uh, the other thing that is really nice is uh, boondocking. That's what we do. That means kind of off the grid kind of camping like where we are right now in the middle of nowhere in a field in the woods on a mountaintop. And we did that last summer at the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. And we had an awesome spot in the middle of nowhere and we didn't have to chain up our dog because he was a good boy and he stayed close to the rig and it was very very nice. It was. Well let's show you the Road Trek CS Adventurous XL. This is again a Class B motorhome. We're going to show you what it's like to actually live in it. Let me give you a quick tour of our road trek. I'm kind of used to doing this. Usually wherever, whenever we stop at a rest area or a gas station, people would like to see it. First thing to notice, we have two seats in front that are extremely comfortable. They can swivel around. We can put a table here so that we can eat. And uh, like I say, just swivel around. If you'd like, if you bring a grandchild, there is something that you can get that fits across that you can make a bed if you want to bring a grandchild if you need another bed so our two seats in the front we love having the third seat which really makes one grandchild very special when they get to ride with grandma and grandpa when we go someplace also we have a seven cubic foot refrigerator freezer this freezer space is huge we can take a lot of things with us such a luxury to have this big refrigerator you can go for days also, open it up. Because this refrigerator is so large, you can easily take food for four or five days. Next, we have our convection microwave oven. We often use this. Convenient, handy. I'm tall, I like it up high. Works well for us. Lots of storage above the uh, kitchen area. I have my sink. I can open this up. My water. We have instant hot water or filtered cold water and want a nice cold drink. We have two propane burners, which we use it all the time. All right, let me show you a couple of things that I really like about it. First of all, uh, it has an awning, a power awning, and that is really nice. Just with this, uh, I'm pushing the switch, it's up, up just to the left of the door, and you can see the awning coming out uh, it allows it to, to get shade, to stay cool, it cools off the inside of the rig. And because we spend a lot of time outside, I have a saying, we have a small house but a big yard, we're underneath this awning a lot. And it uh, is really strong, it uh, holds the wind really well, there's a couple of legs that uh, can support it. Let me show you how the legs work. So this is uh, one of the arms, it's uh, telescoping and you just put it in here like so, push it out and it will support this awning really strong. You can also put it down and then anchor it in the ground if you're in a really windy area, but we tend to leave it like this a lot. But the awning is such a nice convenience. Back inside, I wanna show you some other things I like in our Class B motorhome. First, our pantry, we store so much in here. I have our towels in here. In the bottom, I have our coffee maker, a little fan in case we need, we need that. Just uh, lots of storage. Put our food, things in here. Also, we have more storage up here. 
All right, let's continue with the storage that we have. We have a lot of storage area. Mike uses this for a lot of his equipment that he takes with it. This is Mike's side equipment, his things. We have our sleeping bags up here, we, storage, and then this is my area over here. And then the big secret, our secret compartment, but I guess if I tell you it won't be a secret anymore. We have storage, we have that shelf that drops down where we keep our pillows and a little foam pad that we put down when we make up a bed. So lots of storage. And then last but not least, we have our, our wardrobe. This storage area with a rack that pulls out. We have our things that we want to have hang put in there. If you like to watch TV, here we have our television set and our DVD. Let me show you a couple of my favorite gadgets. I mean, we have to have gadgets, right? Um, the first thing I do, and probably the most important tool I have, because I work on the road all the time, I need a good internet connection. So I use the Verizon Jetpack data card. And But right there, that's the data card right there. It's mounted in a holster. That is the Wilson WeBoost. It is a cellular booster. I have a little external antenna I keep up on the roof. And uh, I always have a uh, Wi-Fi signal, usually a 4G, and almost everywhere I go in the country. And I, I just love it. Verizon's got the best network, and that's what I use to work, to do all my work on the road. Computers, got to have your computers. So this is what I did, a uh, solution for the computers. This is actually like a little mesh uh, organizer that you get at an office supply store. I just mounted it sideways on the panel here, and uh, I keep my computer in here, Jennifer's computer in here, the charger. So it's always being charged, and it's just a, a handy place to, to keep the computer. We also have a couple of chargers there for uh, our cell phones. And in the back also, I have a, I have a, a little uh, power strip, and it's a couple of chargers in there, because you've got to keep all your gear charged, right? And here is the question that's most often asked by all the women, is there a bathroom? And yes, there is. We open up the door, and we have a sink, a commode. We have a shower curtain that wraps around, so we can take a shower in here. We have the shower wand up here that we use. We hook that up on the sink, and we're good. We added a magnifying mirror. We also added a little clothesline for in here, as well as just some little stick-on shelves to hold a few things, our soap and a few things that we want up high, as well as a couple little arms here for things we want to store and hooks. And when you shut the door, you do have enough room. It folds out as so. So you got some elbow room in there. You're just totally not jammed in. Adequate for us. And yes, you can take a shower in here. So this is the rear sofa seating area during the daytime. It's a nice sofa. You've got uh, places here for people to sit on both sides and a nice sofa. But at night, it converts into our bed. Not just any bed, but literally in this little Class B RV, a king size bed, all with the push of a button. And the push of that button turns this into a king-sized bed. Uh, you can set the bed up a couple of ways. Uh, there is a, a wooden insert that's right under here, and you put that across, and you put two of these side cushions on, and then the whole thing becomes a very comfortable king-sized bed. We have some foam pads that we put on top of it to make it even more comfortable. Or if you want to keep the center open, which makes it a little easier to get out of bed, you can make two twins. Uh, we tend to uh, make the bed up every day. Now, some people leave it made up as a bed all the time because that works for them. But for us, I like the looks of it. I think it looks neater and cleaner when you make it into your sofa so that we can come back here and sit. And it's so easy, just a push of a button if we decide we want to take a nap. Just a couple seconds, we can make it back into the bed. So for us, I like it like this. I don't mind making up the bed and, and taking it apart. What we, what we discovered, what we like, is we have these sleep bags. And that's not that hard. The sheets and the blankets are all right together. And we just put that in storage. It's not that much work to make up the bed. And this, for us, is what we like. And this is what we do. Here's something else that we really like. And we had this installed as a factory option 
a headboard. Uh, this is really nice, especially when the bed is down, keeps your pillow from falling in the back. But uh, I like it because it's got like a little mantle and we can keep stuff on it and it's just uh, really nice and it kind of secures everything up and you know, I got a place to put my coffee cup or a glass of wine or whatever else it happens to be. Uh, and then uh, at night uh, there's a flashlight that I always have and we keep our cell phones there. So that uh, headboard with the mantle is really nice. Uh, it's amazing how a little thing like that can make such a big difference. So that's the tour of our Class B Road Trek CS Adventurous XL and um, 100 plus thousand miles. Two people get along in it pretty good. Mike, you forgot to mention our screens. Mm, that's we have right. a screen that we can uh, put up for here and we also have the screen for the back and I love the screen in the back when we're out in the middle of nowhere and there's a country brook or wild brook when we're in the mountains and you just open up that back and listen to the sound of that screen. And listen to the grizzly bear out there running around. Um, maybe we need to put a string or something so we can shut our doors. <laughs> yeah, but the screens are really nice. And we've put some other things like a clock and a wireless uh, uh, transmitter that tells you the outside temperature, the inside temperature, all the little personal things that everybody does with their RVs. But that's our home. I wouldn't call it paradise, but maybe the next best thing, right? <laughs> it works well for us. Yep, two people. Oh yeah, and oh, a dog. How could we forget? We had our 65 pound sled dog, no less who traveled with us the first four years that we started with this. He, he passed away, he got, got sick real quick and, and died suddenly last July. And we thought we were all done with dogs, but no, no, no. For our birthdays that are in February, our grown children came in with smiles and uh, presented us with a 10 week old puppy. 10 week old puppy, his name is Bo, and uh, he will be now traveling with us. So there'll be two adults and a dog, uh, eventually a 65 pound dog. But, eventually, uh, right now about 23, 24 pounds and I hope he's as good a boy as uh, his predecessor was. But home sweet home, as we say, the motto for those of us who uh, use Class B's is we have a small home, but a big yard. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thanks for watching.